hey, I've got a piece of audio gear that I'm excited about, and I'm going to open her up and take a look. This is the 1010 Music Black Box, and it is a compact sampling studio, as it says right there on the box. So let's have a look. This is hot off the truck. Ooh, yeah. Let's not waste any time. Let's look at that. Whoa, it's so nice. Yes, it is. Hello. Hello, black box. Let's remove that little sticker off of the screen there. Oh, so we got four rotary encoders that are not push encoders, so you don't click. Just turn. Nice and stiff. Back button, info button. Got all these different uh, sections of the device that you can go through with these little rubber buttons here. And the transport controls. On the front is a micro SD slot. And then all the connectivity back here. We have power. Uh, so I'm going to have to grab a USB A cable for that. How about this old one? Yeah. You can tell that's from the late 90s or early 2000s because it's transparent with mesh braiding underneath. Uh, so that's how we'll power it. Uh, you know what? I bet it comes with a cable. I, I might not need my own janky cable. Uh, device. So that's for uh, using USB MIDI class compliant devices like uh, Beat Step or a MIDI keyboard, that kind of stuff. Clock in and out, MIDI in and out, using the eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter TRS adapters. And then all these uh, audio, and these are DC coupled, so these can be both uh, audio files and control voltage. So we have an in, one, two, and three, and phones, and these are stereo. I don't know why that one's in, and that's one, two, and three. Is this zero? We'll find out. Boy, it's a sleek little device. Uh, before I go any further, I gotta check this out. Before I got the device, I got excited and found out the dimensions from Aaron at 1010 Music and built a little 3D printed case to put it in. Oh yeah, sure enough, he was right. I, I didn't account for these screws, so it's not, not actually gonna fit in there. Nope, I won't force it. But I'm gonna make a little, uh, little case for this guy. All right, what else is in here? Let's set this right there. There's not a lot of music gear unboxings where you get to also hear the guy's teenage son and his buddies playing Smash Brothers in the background. But that's what you get right here. And uh, then we got the box of goodies. Here's the SD card, which is an important one because it's uh, filled with samples and firmware, I think. I'm not sure about that firmware thing. Cables. Here's a MIDI adapter, another MIDI adapter. There's some power supply action. Uh, and so this is made for any plug, or at least US, Europe, and Japan, or something like that. UK. Uh, sure, I'll use this one. Will I? I might not. I might use another one that's a little more convenient and nearby. Let's put it together. Clink. I'm going to put on my glasses and see what the current rating is on this. Holy cow, that's small. It is 5 volts at 2.5 amps. That's what it requires. Which you could probably do from most battery uh, boosters for your phone. Hey, yeah, there's the power cable, power USB cable. Got a little manual, and I'm going to skip that for now. 
I think. Oh, well, there's a quick start guide. Let's do the quick start guide. Sure. Quick start guide for the 1010 black box says, insert the SD card in the slot. Sure, I'll do that. So there you go, there's a little micro D SD. I might label this later so it's obvious which one is which. All right, memory card in. Now, uh, what else does it say? Power it and audio on the back. Okay, so let's move these things. Sorry about the mess. And so there you can see we're going to put power there. Uh, device, have I gone through this? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to power it uh, with this USB that came with it. So let's plug that in. Ooh, nice click. Uh, and I'm just going to end up powering that from a USB hub I have sitting there. The audio out, so I've got a line running to my mixer. So let's plug that in, and I'm gonna plug that into, let me switch these for you. I'm gonna plug that audio into the audio one out, and then I'm gonna plug headphones into the phones jack there so that I can hear what I'm doing. All right. Let's see, moment of truth here. Oh yeah, okay. So this, by the way, I've played around with this for a few minutes at um, Synthplex, and then I played around with one for a little bit over at Perfect Circuit here in Burbank, California. And so I know a little bit of my way around it. I'm not coming to this completely fresh, uh, but nevertheless, let's try it out together. Okay, so what we've got is the pads. So these work kind of left to right, and I don't know if you can see that, the brightness uh, on the video, but that's lit right now. So if I switch over to the keys mode, we get the keyboards. Uh, so you kind of work from left to right. So we'll start in the pads mode. Uh, and let's see if this can be heard. Oh yeah, I hear that. Yes, okay. So 16 sample pads here, uh, big giant velocity slider so that you can kind of pretend this is velocity sensitive, although it's kind of more likely you'll play with some velocity MIDI pad of some kind. All right, kind of go through these keys. We'll play whatever pad we've picked, and you can, you can go through these pads with the rotor encoder up and down or left and right. So here's one that's pitched. So now we can come over here and play it on the keyboard. So middle C is what it's centered around, the original sample. Uh, again, you could play that with a MIDI keyboard if you didn't want to constrain yourself here. But this is kind of cool. There's a little virtual slider there to let you push the keyboard around a little bit. So let's say I kind of want this middle C right in the middle. Or you can jump octaves with these. And uh, move down. Okay, so those are the, the keyboard interface. And then sequences. So again, we got 16 cells of sequences here. Uh, they can all play at once, or in song mode, you can record yourself turning them on and off. Uh, if you dive into one, so we'll use the info button, you can see we've got uh, the piano roll for the sequence, uh, and you can zoom in and out, you get uh, sort of layers of screens. So you start off with this piano roll, then for that same sequence, we can dive into things, uh, settings like the step length and step count, uh, quantization, so how 
quickly that, that whole um, sequence will jump in. And back to the pads view. So now song mode, uh, this, this one's built in right now. This is this default one that has a song in it. If we leave that song mode enabled, what it's going to do is it's going to play through section one, two, three, four, and so on. Um, and it's actually kind of interesting to watch the sequences when we play. <laughs> until I think the next one starts, it's gonna. Uh, this, by the way, is where you set the BPM. With this dial here, I'm gonna slow it way down. And let's bring that back up. You can also adjust the swing here, so this 50%. Uh, that's kind of the main stuff about building up a song. Uh, here we've got effects that are per um, sound. So if we pick one, we can then dial in how much it's using of the, I think it's a delay on this side and a reverb on this side. Here's the mix. And uh, you can, again, pick cells and then dial in and out uh, their level, I think with the top knobs, and they're panning at the bottoms. Uh, another really cool thing in here is if you hit info on the mix, now these turn into uh, mutes. So we got okay so then other than the mix we go into preset this is where you load up uh, different kits and these are actually um, not just a collection of preset sounds but it's actually where your, your sequences and your songs are stored so if we load up uh, dream lab here how about so it's just loaded in uh, files change one of those out. Right, how about that guy? So that is where we um, can go use the info of that individual sound. Here's the wave file of what's here. Oh, and this one does a funny forward and backward uh, sort of latched mode. Uh, that's not the right name for it. What are they calling it? So this is bi-directional looping. Uh, so here we can change this to forward loop, no loop at all, it'll just play once through, and then here's where you can reverse the sound, and you can preview it here. Hear it? Now let's reverse it. Nice. Uh, all right, let me go back. Okay, so th this just toggles you endlessly through these pages. And this one has, uh, in pads, this is probably one of the deeper ones that has more pages than most. So. Uh, here you can play, play your loop, reverse mode, play it, uh, change the sound out, so if we you hit play here, it'll then just play whatever you land on. Alright, how about that one? And I'm going to hit load. So it just loaded it over that slot. And here we can tap this and see what's in that slot. And uh, if we dive in, you can see this thing has a long tail on it. If you want to trim that, whoop, there you go. You just trimmed it. 
trim it short. Oops. Oh, what? Where's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I had in the wrong mode to expand those. Okay, so now we can adjust our uh, loop boundaries. All right, I uh, clearly I'm going way beyond a uh, an unboxing here by messing around with it this much, but uh, that's what you get. Uh, also, in the presets, this is where you save. Uh, none of this work is going to be saved until you go in here and save it. So if I like something I've done here, I'll I'll go and save uh, using file. Uh, actually, new or is it file? Save as. I guess you could do a file save as at this point, or you could proactively create a new uh, preset. And another thing here, you've got in this tools menu, headphone volume, brightness of the display. Darken that up. Uh, your global MIDI channel, turning the compressor on and off. I like this compressor, so I'm leaving it on. Uh, and then you've got your metronome and lead in here. These are important. MIDI PC, I haven't messed with that. Probably it does what it says. It allows you to use it as a uh, MIDI device on your computer. Uh, and record to play on. I don't know what that means other than it's got something to do with recording. All right, uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, so I said it doesn't, if, if I don't save, it doesn't save. So here's what happens if I pull power. That's how you turn it off. Turn it back on. Boom, it launches. And it's back to that that first default. It always loads the uh, sort of most uh, the top alphabetical. So these three zeros in front of this one is what makes this one show up all the time. If you name something with an even more first name, like zero 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 something beginning with an A, uh, A triple A one towing, then you'll be first. Uh, so yeah, at this point it'll. <laughs> That's the demo song. And one thing I want to show in the demo song is if I want to go in and edit something, like this is a really distinctive drop. This sort of. So I want to edit that wave file just by coming in here and trimming off the head of it. Now we just, let's get one. Yeah, just cool percussive. way more than I had bargained for. But there you go. That is 1010 Music Black Box Unboxing. This thing is so nice. Uh, won't you go check it out for yourself? If you got a store where you can go check it out, check it out. Or order one. They're, they're coming out, man. That's it. <laughs>